What's up guys, TC here and welcome back to Starbound Custom Creations and today I've got something really special to show you guys. This is a brand new weapon category and so what I mean by weapon category is uh, we have things like pistols and assault rifles and rocket launchers, all those things are different categories and so I wanted to come up with something unique and special uh, for my arena here uh, and so what I've come up with are these actual uh, backpacks, they're like back items and so these are kind of unique so they don't actually fit on the player's back on your armor slot these are wearable items but they take up a hotbar slot uh, so you'll see they're really cool they they kind of lay on your back um, there's different ones or whatever like that uh, and they all do different things most of them are support based so like buffing your own stats uh, so real quick we're going to show off this one here uh, this is the energy shield pack so this converts the user's energy into shield uh, into a shield to sponge damage so we're going to hop out of admin mode here for this to work there we go, and so once you activate it, and it basically works for as long as you hold down the uh, the click button. And now this one in particular is, uh, it's really expensive to use, so if you watch your energy bar here, it'll go down pretty quick. Yeah, you see only a few seconds and it almost drained us entirely. But it's also a really powerful effect, uh, because whenever you have that shield up, you pretty much don't take any damage. So real quick, we are going to spawn in a pop top, we will get stuck down there. And then we're going to hop out of admin mode and I can kind of show you guys um, that you don't take any damage. Come on bro, hit me. Well, okay, the pop top decides it didn't want to fight. Give it a second here. There you go, so you see, we didn't take any damage off that. I can probably just walk by him. Yeah, so you see, we just walked right by him. You don't take any damage with the shield. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little thing. Um, it's kind of like an omnidirectional, like the handheld shields you have. It's kind of like an omnidirectional one of that, so you just don't take any damage whatsoever. And if you get good with it, like timing uh, blocks and stuff, you can really use it efficiently. So it's very powerful. Um, good to like dual wield with like a, some other strong weapon, preferably a sword that doesn't use up any energy. Um, so yeah, very fun little unique thing. The next one here is the regen packs. This one converts the user's energy into health. So we're going to hop over here and get hit. A little more, please. Come on. A little more. There we go. And so this one here, when you hold it, you see the player converts their energy into health. And this one's not as, uh, it doesn't use as much energy as the shield pack does, but it also doesn't heal you quite as fast. Come on, hit me again. So we'll do it one more time. There we go. And as you can see, it, um, it doesn't drain energy too quick. This one's a pretty good defensive one. As long as you can get away and get somewhere to hide to heal up, it's a good little substitute. In case you don't have a back item on that heals you or you can't get one of the healing orbs, this thing will uh, it'll heal you up just using your energy. Now the next one here, this one is super cool. I've already shown it on Reddit, so you might have seen it, but I really love it. This is the Gravity Packs. So this one allows you to hover. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not talking because I can't, I'm not really sure if you guys can hear me very well over this jetpack, but I'm just going to demo it real quick, kind of what it does. right there. As you can see, it's just a nice little jetpack. All it does is let you hover. It um, You can sort of fly. It's like limited flight, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, you have to use your, your jump boost, uh, your like your tech jump boost to kind of go upwards. Otherwise, you'll just hover like this. Uh, but it is very fast. You actually can fly super quick, you, you, like laterally or whatever. Um, as long as there's ground and stuff, you can fly really quick. So as you can see, it's a very quick way to get around. Uh, and also, you'll notice that this thing hardly drains any energy whatsoever. And this was an important desi design decision because uh, what I realized is that these two things, these region packs and the energy packs, they're really valuable, right? So like being able to regenerate health mid-fight or put a shield up mid-fight, that's really valuable and it really benefits you in a lot of situations. Whereas the gravity pack, um, having the flying and the mobility and stuff like that doesn't really play a big... Um, it just doesn't help you too much in these arena arenas because they're so enclosed. So uh, I had to kind of make it really cheap because, in all honesty, if you're going to be using a flying pack, you're probably going to be using a gun, which means you're going to be using energy. So this thing flies. It's super cheap to use. Um, pretty much that whole time, we didn't even get through one bar. Um, so it's virtually free. But yeah, very fun little thing. Uh, it's, it's super fun to use like outside in the open world just to kind of fly around. It will stop you like midway through a fall. So you can be like falling from a really far height and catch yourself with it. Now the next one here, this one isn't so much of like a passive buff uh, like these are, as this is like an offensive ability. So this is the shoulder cannon pack. So a lot of you might have seen the uh, Predator series. 
with like Alien vs Predator, they've got those like shoulder mounted guns, and that's what this is. So you'll see it pops up, and it goes back on your back like that. Uh, and it's kind of like having a little, just like a little cannon attached to you. And so this one here applies the poison effect or whatever to the, to whatever it hits. Um, it's basically you can't aim it like. I, ha I had the option to make it aimable, but it doesn't look good. Like, it, it kind of rotates weird if you aim it. So I had to make it kind of like a, a thing where it just shoots in a straight line. I mean, it works just as good that way. It's uh, it's really strong for a one-handed spot. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it just looks really cool. Like, it looks badass how it just kind of, like, rotates back down. Like that. So, uh, yeah, I really love it. And they are obviously dual-wieldable. They can even dual-wield with themselves. Um, they don't look that bad. They basically just take up... Um, a slot on each side of your body, so it's kind of like you have on uh, two backpacks. So yeah, uh, it's definitely a really cool weapon category. Um, I'm trying to think of different things I can do, or different other backpacks. Um, if you guys have any other kind of weapon categories, because I'm really looking for some kind of niche things, uh, and other things to kind of round out the weapons. So like right now I've got like pistols, assault rifles, shotguns, um, explosive weapons, I've got equipment, which is what this is. And I've got uh, heavy weapons, which I'll get into that probably next episode. Uh, and I've got special weapons. So if you guys know any other like weapon categories to cover or anything kind of cool, you guys let me know in the comments below. Uh, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all later.